One, two. Hello. My name is Alexey Vladimirovich Kuroshenko. Try to remember this name <laughs> and sleep with this. So, uh, what we do? So, uh, today we talk about, of course, how to raise money for ICO. It's a hot topic. Uh, and we talk from different angle. We talk from angle uh, how to work with the big whales, how to prepare yourself to uh, speak with the uh, investors. So, let's start. Oh, we have no timer. Do, 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 do. This is evil machine is working? Yeah, it's working. So, before we start, I will not promise uh, you to raise any funds. Uh, it's a disclaimer. So, I cannot give you any kind of warranty about the fundraising results. And uh, your ICO can be unsuccessful. In 90% uh, the ICOs are really unsuccessful and even rich in uh, if soft cap. So uh, I can give you only one warranty. If you don't do even, you don't try anything, you will, in 100% cases, you get nothing. <laughs> so that's true. So uh, how many of you are here um, about launching your ICO next month? Raise your hands, please. OK, you are in the right place. Thank you. And um, how many of you want to raise uh, from 10 to 20 million? So about your so hard cap or more? That's, that's good. That's good. So uh, most of the ICO, like, uh, there is a deal. Before, in a ca classical venture game, if you raise 5 million, oh, it's round B, maybe, round A, B. But here is you raise 5 million today, oh, don't worry, don't cry, maybe next time. <laughs> that's true. So, and uh, many projects right now, they just reach maybe uh, two or three million, and well, maybe next time. And we see a lot of successful projects here. That's another side. So, uh, do you think why? So, now it's very interesting game. So, why some projects are l hunted for investors, and but others raise only five to ten million? Or, why investor uh, didn't, um, didn't catch your so you can offer them really, really, really good deal, right? So give them huge discount or a bonus. Or I see a lot of deals like, oh, we'll give you 100% bonus if you will be our uh, core investor, right? Or no, 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 we can give you 200%. Oh, we can sign anything. Just give us money. So I have, I have. I've seen a lot of conversations. Oh, Alex, can you help us? Oh, I can find a core investor. So we, 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 we are ready for everything. So just give us money. Uh, well, it doesn't work. And um, it's really hard to find the core investor. If you, even if you have an amazing team, good traction, real product, sometimes it's really hard. So I know a lot of projects who are looking for a core investor because it's it's very, very important to find the core investor on early stage before you launch your ICO. That is very important. So my advice, don't uh, announce your ICO before you get a core investor. That's very important because if you announce and you have a limited time, it's fire everywhere. It's like hell. <laughs> no one was. So, uh, my, my story, how and what in, in crypto is short. So uh, uh, my first startup was Expert System in 2012 uh, with Ilya Churakov. Ilya, where you are? Uh, Ilya, it's a tall guy from Cryptarium. So we launched uh, our webinar platform. And before we start playing the investors game, we actually invest our own pocket money to build the platform. And we create the buzz. So, we uh, invite a lot of experts on our platform, create a f huge free, uh, like a seminar, and uh, we invite a guy from uh, Guinness Record, and he shoots the record and give a certificate. Yes, the expert system are good, so you hit a record, uh, word Guinness, uh, and after that we get about 200 uh, PR publication on articles and everywhere. And only after that, we have an offer for a half, half a million, so it's before crypto, and I was so scared to take this money. So it's, it's another side, so how many of you think, well, if I get core investor, 
an early stage, they will command me, or it's like a hard, uh, it's like a take money from someone who will, uh, maybe not guy, manage you. <laughs> Nobody want that. So, and we are scared about that. And uh, in half of uh, seven months, we lost the company because we have a huge burn rate, so, and we, we, we cannot do play anymore. But this story, uh, so maybe I need to share you a successful story. But that story teach me, so definitely I need to learn something. And that's why in 2016, I take my family and fly to Silicon Valley uh, to and go to Founder Institute. It's pretty interesting program where people teach you how to pitch. It's like a program pitch or die. In three minutes, you need to pitch. Or every week, someone will be eliminated. So uh, in, the, in the beginning of the project, it was 37 of us, and in the final, only five. That's a good school to how to train yourself and pitch to investors. So um, I didn't know that, so it was fun. And uh, yes, of course, I can make a five gram memory case mistakes in one present, <laughs> in, in one word. Um, uh, and next, uh, when after that, my friends ask, so Alex, can you help us with the ICO? Can you may organize an event for us with investor, or can you shoot a video with the advisors? So, and we start work with this Cryptarium, so we shoot a video with Kate Tier, he's the co-founder of TechCrunch, and I have no idea what the ICO is. I think, oh, ICO is a bubble, or cryptocurrency is a scam, or whatever, that people always think about the cryptocurrency outside of the bubble. But now I'm inside with you guys. So uh, it was fun, uh, and uh, the Cryptarium project uh, really successful, and uh, everyone know about the Cryptarium right now. So the, yes, they raised 51 million. And a couple of things that re actually work, so I can share with you. So first we take, um, the, that you can do, take your advisors and let them work for you just not on be on your web, web page. The K tier, we organize webinar with him. Write the notes, this is very important. Push your advisors to weekly webinars. That simple, that I learned from my previous startup. It works, and there is more. Uh, how many of you know that ICO advertising is banned on a Facebook and Google? What are you gonna do? Any ideas? Huh? Exactly. And that is the trick how to avoid. Because if you put yourself like an expert, huh? Ah, answer it. Webinar. You can organize a webinar with a founder or with an advisor and spend as much as you can. Nobody ban you. Because you not promote an ICO, right? Yes or yes? Does that make sense? So, at that point, we, oh, wow, we can take all the expertise that we learn from my webinar business and put into ICOs. No one can ban you. If you're a founder, if you want to share some message, some good information, yes, definitely you need to write, and you don't need to write anything about token or about cryptocurrency. But, oh, we have some special language. So everyone know how, fly to the moon, right? So you can use our special language to promote anything because no, no one can ban you if you are uh, maybe tricky enough. That's the point. So, uh, and I start jumping from uh, one event to another and speak with people, so, and uh, I realized and I have built a really good network of uh, investors from one side and the ICO from another side. And we started organizing small, uh, small, ev small events for let people to do fundraising for themselves. So, uh, what's next? So, uh, we organized uh, like a private New York uh, road show with uh, my partner, Konstantin. So, um, Constantine worked with Oracles uh, and they raise, helped them to raise 47 million. Is it, is it, is it correct? Yeah, 47 million. Uh, Pei Jin right now on, uh, on the road 
it's less than 1 million, but they're on a pre-ICO right now. And 80% of projects are under uh, NDA. So I can share uh, a lot of examples I want, but uh, a lot of legal stuff on this sphere. So, uh, and I found another partner, so uh, in the Middle East. So he organized car racing events and rich people of Dubai come to the room and watch how the car crashes, right? <laughs> So Lambo racing, Porsche racing, Ferrari racing. So the way people, they like the stuff, right? So it's different than Silicon Valley. And it's look like a meeting room, uh, VIP lounge, and you sit and or stay and talk with the rich people of Dubai about your ICO. So you do yourself. So you must be prepared to this talk, right? So that's why. So we don't do interest. We, we don't do work for you. We just organize events. So uh, an Asian roadshow, it's pretty longer. Uh, and they have a partners in Asia. So they organize uh, uh, this roadshow for Play K. They raised 15 million. Uh, Sky Chain, Sky Chain, uh, 2.2 million on pre-ICO. And uh, Model Trade, uh, about 7.4 million. Uh, is it good enough for you? Okay, so it's, it's not a hundred million, so we, we, we don't expect a hundred million number. So if someone promised me, oh yeah, we help you raise hundred million. Because the, the, the very hard part to raise first 10 millions, that's a game changer. If you raise 10 million, that's much easier. So you have a, lo a lot of choices. You can spend uh, half, uh, half of the sum to your ad campaign, right? And the, uh, do, do you know the budget? So when I know the budget of Cryptarium project, I was shocked because uh, I talked with the founder, the Vladimir, and he said, well, we spent 100K a day. And what? 100K a day? Are you joking? No. That is, wor that is actually what is working. So Cryptarium have a whole crowd sale because of that. So let's think about it. So if you have 10 million on a pre-ICO and you have spent, and you've spent a five million, at least five million on advertising right now, well, your chances is high. Yes or yes? Do you agree or not? What do you think about it? So that's why the first 10 million very important. So if you don't have a, uh, at least five million, uh, my advice don't do, go to ICO. So that's the situation. Or, if you have a brilliant team and you have really good friends uh, who can invest you, but it's, it's different. What is your friends? Who are they, right? Who they are? So if your friends are venture capitalists and you have a friendship with the funds and you just have a drink and coffee and show them on a napkin what you want to build and they know who you are and your story and your success story, probably they can invest you 10 million, 20 million early stage without anything, and without any white paper. But it depends on what, what, who, 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 who's your friend. That is very important. Uh, but if you don't have a friends with uh, such numbers, uh, better prepare to long ride, uh, road show, meet a lot of new people because in a short time. So it take a while so for, we prepare these meetings for, uh, from 15 to 30 days. It depends on uh, how busy we are. And next, for example, if you fly to New York, uh, prepare yourself to have a lot of events in one week. You probably will meet from uh, 15 to 30 uh, investors. So I can give you any warranty how many people will be interested in your project, but it's Happen all the time. So I just flying from from New York. It's pretty cold. <laughs> so and we organize the same uh, small, 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 small events for our clients. So uh, what's next? Um, boom. Step by step algorithm. Um, here. Yeah, I write a book, how to launch your ICO. So a lot of stuff. Forty-two pages. Just uh, take a camera and, and uh, you will see the like opt-in page. And um, 
if you want a PR to my, I have a, a lot of subscribers and I have 70,000 subscribers uh, and I want to, I can just share information for free about your project if you write me a testimonial about my book. Fair deal, right? So, shoot me what you think about. So you, oh yeah, you can say, oh, your book is totally bullshit. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. That's your, uh, that's your opinion. I will not publish it, but <laughs> who knows. Uh, so, is it downloaded? Now it's moment of truth. Is it works? Oh, congratulations. Now you're in my spam list. <laughs> Uh, so, go next. Yeah, last picture. Yay, welcome. Um, so, three advice about ICO fundraising. Uh, it's hard and take about one, from one to three months. Uh, and uh, don't announce your ICO until you get a core investors. So, that is very important that uh, I'll talk advice. So second, uh, don't outsource fundraising. If you think so, you hire someone who will do work for you, you'll be disappointed. You must be on every single meeting with investors, you need a handshake, make a first impression, second, you need a close deal. So uh, some guys will can uh, help you open the doors, but definitely you need to close the deals. So no one will uh, do it for you. That is true. So if someone promised, I don't believe it. So, and be ready to pay high price. So fundraising are very expensive service. For example, to organize car race event uh, in Dubai, it will probably uh, will cost you half a million. It will be nine events for a Formula One. I have one special exclusive package. It's a half, a half a million dollar to organize nine events. It's pretty, pretty, pretty expensive. So uh, organize, uh, for example, a couple of a series of events of, uh, for New York, it will cost about 100K. So in, in that moment, most of the conversation is, oh, why do you need to pay for that? Okay, you can do it yourself, no problem. Read my book and you can find everything for free. So, um, next, boom. Uh, what's the difference between advice and consulting? Any suggestions? What's the difference between advice and consulting? Yes, yes, thank you, sir. And my advice, take consulting. <laughs> so, um, okay, no, I have a couple of them. So, uh, as I told before, so rise from two to five million before you announce any date about your ICO. That is very important. So, second, Invest those money into marketing and roadshow. Uh, as I said, so Cryptarium spent a lot of money uh, to raise this uh, and close a hard cap. <laughs> hard cap, it's, I think, some reason why hard cap call it a hard cap. <laughs> uh, speak public every week and prepare your community to public exchange. That is very important. So, um, before you run an ICO or announce something, you can uh, jump to events and be the better advice that I can give you, bring your own camera. You know why? Yes, organizer, can, if you speak public, yeah, uh, the sponsors, they can send you a, a video, of course, but it maybe takes a one week or three weeks. I just spoke in Dallas, uh, 15 of February, and just two weeks ago, they sent me my video. But who won the old news, right? So. Shut the video immediately and send to your community. That is very important. If you feed them every single week, you prepare like awareness. Oh, we are here. Um, maybe you know the guys from ARC. They are not my clients, but I like their style. What they do? So they have a slide and they have a like, oh, this is our traction. So we develop this, we develop this. And it's like a progress bar. You get it? So every single week you have the same slides, but one slide is always changed. It's your traction, how you perform, what you've done. Make sense? Yes or yes? That is a very important trick. Because you're, as Raphael said, yes, you need to show the result. But sometimes it's a process, right? 
you can show them a process because you cannot deliver a result every single week. If you can, that's perfect. But what if you cannot? And that's why you have a slide on your presentation that show where are you, how is going. You deliver always, you deliver the news. And the next thing, so I seen a lady, she already done uh, an ICO, and she have, come, she have no slide. She have like, I have a honest personal story. And she's, every week she jumped from events, and spent a lot of money, and she, she shared her story every single time. And it, different stories, zero slides. Like, oh, she just talked with people. What do you think about this? So we, we think about maybe we go this way or this way. What do you think about it? Make sense? You involve people to your project. You just not pitch them then, oh yeah, we, we're on this exchange, this exchange, this exchange. No, oh, we think about that. What do you think about it? And when people think that they are part of it, that they belong to the, this community, that is very important because uh, if they feel that they are part of it, they will hold your tokens. Make sense? Not only about your attraction, it's about how people feel it. Maybe, yeah, maybe token goes down, but I hold it because I believe in this company. I feel that I put something more than money. If they put something more than money, that's one, uh, how to say in English, um, it's rational or irrational, right? It's a rational reason why they keep it. Because we, we think that we are rational, right? But we are not. We do something because we want to do something. Uh, that's very important. And uh, Raphael talked about a post-ICO campaign, right? I expect um, spent at least a half a million every single month to your ad campaign. Because if there is no more buyers, what will happen with your token? Any ideas? Because just few people know about your ICO. Yes, they're in your community. Sometimes you think, oh yeah, everyone know about me. But it's not true. So keep burning your money on the ad campaign. So you can hire Raphael or another guy who will uh, manage this campaign for you. But uh, the reason why I'm talking about Raphael, because uh, yes, oh, he's my partner for this conference, and uh, I've seen what he do with the loan token and how he uh, spends this money, how they, it's, it's very, very interesting how you can uh, do it, uh, maybe with him or without him, but when you close your hard cap, let's say you are in successful ICO. Another trick for you. If you shoot the video every single week, bring more new leads to your community, to your list, to your Telegram group, and every single week you send them a video from the conference, see you, see you all talking about their, our plans, what we do this week. It may be like a video from your office. It shouldn't be, oh, super fancy video on a professional camera, light everywhere, like explosions. No, just take a web camera and that's it. Five minute talk every single week. It's simple. So, because if you don't do that, people think, well, we have no idea what's going on. So the heart up cup closed it, and maybe I have a bad decision. The reason why people uh, dump your token, some of the, if uh, they are not professional brokers, most of them are not. So the reason, uh, because sometimes people think that they make a bad decision and they feel bad about themselves. Make sense? And it's not about money. If they are think, oh, I'm a loser because I'm investing this, buy these tokens and these, they are maybe they should talk, I have no idea what's going on. You need to feed the news. It's, that is very important. So, on the post-ICO campaign, every single week you deliver something new, something new, something new. And in the final week, before you go to exchange, in that moment you need the professional videos. I have a script for you, so uh, 
it should be scripted and how you work with their objections, uh, new token buyers, so you prepare new buyers. It's like a small ad campaign. It's the same story what Apple do. They announce the product, you cannot buy right now, prepare your money, soon, two weeks before the start, they announce, yes, in this shop you can buy this, limited quantity, right? Come on, they can supply everything. But you need to hunt for a new iPhone X, right? The same story in the gaming industry, the Blizzard. One of the best examples in the gaming industry is the Blizzard company. Who knows about the Blizzard? Uh, I love StarCraft. So, uh, spent a lot of hours playing the strategies. But I see what their marketing strategy. They prepare something new. Oh, coming soon. The same story, coming soon. And the most important 24 hours before you go to exchange, you prepare the series of letters and messages to your social media, how they can buy your tokens, how it's very important, show them testimonials, some uh, guys from an investment site who's talking about, yes, it's the best in investment that I made in my life, right? So, or some videos behind the scenes, how you work, how your team has, and oh yeah, yeah, some, some crazy stuff. So, but it's scripted crazy stuff. That is very important. Five seconds? Five oh, five minutes. Oh, we have a time. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I almost, almost finished. So, and that is, uh, that is moment of truth because the more money on a post ICO, because fundraising, it's just uh, like a first fuel to your campaign. You can burn all the, your, your, uh, all your money that you uh, get from investors on early pre-ICO pre stage. You go to ICO, you raise more, right? You spend a couple of bucks <laughs> to advertising. And that's most important part on a post-ICO. And this is, should be, everything should be scripted and prepared. Like it's a real product launch when you go to, a post, uh, when you go to exchange. So, um, pam, pam, pam. And of, only after that, uh, you, you and your token holders probably can get 50x. And then you buy a lumber. Only that. Not on a pre-ICO. <laughs> I know the story. So uh, uh, investors uh, have a meeting. Uh, investor and uh, founder have a meeting. So they have a dinner. So, and he just raised a couple of million on uh, his project. And after, after dinner, investor and the founder, they walk out to parking. Founder go and left. Investor go left, go right. He follow him right. What's going on? I just want to be sure what is, what is your car. Oh, it's old Honda Civic. Ah, oh, you are fine. <laughs> so that's very, that's very important. Because I think only when you go to exchange on your successful on, after, on aftermarket, at that moment you can spend a couple of bucks for yourself. Yeah, because, yeah, definitely we do it because if you want to live better life, so maybe enjoy your life. So uh, making money is good. How like, say it? Greed is good. <laughs> so it, it's okay. But um, is it helpful for you guys? Yes or yes? Oh, maybe no. Okay. What is the most uh, important part was in the presentation? Any ideas? What, what, what's finding or what is your aha uh, for today was from my presentation. Any ideas? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's expensive journey. So, okay, any questions? Happy to answer? Oh yeah, Alex, finish and we're going to lunch. <laughs> oh yeah, we have a call. One question. Um, one second, sir. Stand up. Hi, my name is Dr. Jan Ansai. I want to raise money for my uh, symptom diagnosis app, and I'm thinking about uh, starting an ICO, but it's quite expensive. So are there ways that I can hire a team for marketing and everything else that's involved in an ICO, and they would be um, willing to accept the success fee? That means once we raise the money, they get a certain percentage, so that I don't have to pay them up front. 
Oh, it's a good question. You ask me to do something illegal. Uh, <laughs> because uh, I'm not a broker dealer, so I cannot charge a success fee. So what I can do for you is uh, consult you, uh, organize a couple of events for you, and you do, uh, do it yourselves, right? So uh, yes, if you don't have a money, look for investors or for a core investor. Look for a guy who believes personally in you. That is very important. If you have no money, don't go to ICO. Yes, you can uh, like a, do bootstrapping if you hire a team and pay them in your tokens. And they completely believe in you, but at least they need to uh, feed their family about half a year how, while you prepare everything, run everything. So, and some people will disappear on this journey. Definitely find the core investor or find the core client who will pay you and when you have money, go to an ICO. Okay, is it as an answer? Thank you very much. You're a good audience. Thank you. One more question. Ah, one more question? Okay, it was the last one. It won't take long. Um, could you show the QR code again, please? You've oh, been yeah. talking a lot of sense and I'd like to read your book. Yeah, make a shot. Yeah. All right, let's give a round of applause. Thank you to Alexi. Thank you.